OpenAI is partnering with Broadcom for their custom 10 gigawatts, which is a lot, of what they're calling their ASIC chips. So it's A-S-I-C chips. Now, it's similar to the Tensor chips from Google's, and it's something specific to OpenAI. What do you make of this? Yeah, what they're doing is they're creating chips that are very, very specifically good at one thing. And the one thing they're targeting is inference. So inference is what happens when AI is running, right? When you ask ChatGPT a question and it turns out an answer, that's inference as opposed to training. The two big mm-hmm. compute hungry categories are training, reinforcement learning, and inference, three different categories. Yeah. Um, and what they're basically banking on is that the world is going to be doing a lot more inference. And the reason this is interesting for us as software people is we are anticipating that not just will people be doing more compute heavy tasks like code generation or running agents that have you know a long time horizon, but they're also going to be starting to use ambient intelligence. And this has already started with OpenAI's Pulse, right? Overnight, the GPUs run to give you information, whatever's the latest new information about stuff that they think it thinks you're interested in, right? This is just the first step. We're going to end up with a whole bunch of sort of proactive AI, which will just take ambient cues of like, you've just arrived home or you just got in your car or you just got a phone call from so-and-so to run inference, to serve you up suggestions or serve you up, you know, whatever you might need at that time. Um, Mm. So this is really an interesting look. And it's ridiculous that they are, have already made deals with NVIDIA. They've already made deals with well, a bunch of other people. Uh, and now they're going to yet more people now with Broadcom uh, and pulling in these very specific chips. This is also interesting because this is what the, the Chinese have been doing recently as well with their um, different kinds of chips that run more like neurons in a brain uh, and are more efficient for certain kinds of use cases. So yeah, it's good to see OpenAI doing this too. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.